and welcome to a Go Technical training session. We are running a series on bar reversal patterns, and this is the first in those. We're looking at the three bar reversal. Mike Smith, senior analyst and head of client education and training at Go Markets. Now, just before we start looking at the pattern itself, just a few rules of the game about bar patterns. Chart patterns are simply a visual representation of potential price action changes in market sentiment over a series of bars or candles. They're often combined with other indicators and can be used to indicate a potential entry in an attempt to create a high probability of a desired move or in some cases an exit from a specific position and may be applicable to multiple time frames and multiple instruments. Some patterns indicate a trend reversal and others a trend pause before continuing in the direction of a previous trend. In this short series of five videos, we're going to look at five bar reversal patterns. Just remember that experienced traders wait for confirmation that a pattern is complete before taking action and we'll reference that as we look at individual patterns. And of course, there is always a chance that a trading idea based on an identified pattern will fail. And so as always, appropriate risk management should always be put in place. Now, the first chart pattern we're going to look at is a simple three bar reversal, which you can see on the left. And we're looking at the bullish version to start with. I'm going to explain this step by step. Bar one is we have a lower close than the open price. Bar two is a lower low than the previous bar. Bar three is a higher close and above the open of bar one. And then we get our confirmation bar. And we can see also, of course, the reverse is the case for the bearish three bar reversal in that we get the same pattern as a mirror image and then that confirmation bar there. Let's just look at an example. If we look at the GB pound Swiss franc on this four hour chart, we can see an example here. So you see there is that last bearish bar with the subsequent bar moving below temporarily the low of the last bearish bar. Then we get our third bar in the sequence with the closing high above the open of the first bar and then our confirmation candle here. And then we get a move to the upside. Now, in this case, we'd probably take profit at around about 111.25, which represents, if an entry was here, of a move of around about 50 pips. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.